that's how you replace the rear pads and rotors on a Volvo S90, XC90, XC60 from 2017 and newer. And of course, if it's a 16 XC90, it's the same thing. Okay, to remove the two bolts that hold on the caliper, you're gonna use a Torx bit. Torx T15. Caliper, caliper bracket. Before I do that, I'm gonna collapse the caliper. Okay guys, now that we have the emergency brake unit off of the caliper, we're gonna twist this nub clockwise until it stops. Okay, now that it's stopped, take a, take a C-clamp next with a rag right here. Next up is we're gonna just reapply. Just make sure there's no dirt and grease in the way. <clears throat> Reinstall this brake, emergency brake unit. Line up the holes. Reinstall the screws. And now let's remove the brake bracket. So the uh, caliper bracket is bolted on with 15 millimeter bolts. So, so get a 15 millimeter wrench and an extender to get some leverage. And once you break those loose, get a socket and finish it off. Okay, brackets off. 
Next stop is to remove the caliper, or excuse me, next stop is to remove the rotor. Looks like a T30 again. T30 holds that rotor on, so let's take that off. Okay. All right, so now that the T30 is off, get a little hammer, give that one knock, and it should come right off. All right, guys, and after a few little knocks, this is loose, so we can pull that off. And you're just left with the wheel hub like this. Now we take our brake clean and new rotor. Take the brake clean, spray it off. Okay, and all the grease is now off of this, and we can go reapply it onto the car. I usually just do a hand tighten on that. Now reapply the brake caliper bracket. Retorque everything as you did torquing it off. Just the reverse now, guys. Next up, reapply the brake pads, the new ones. The one with the metal clips on it goes on the inside, guys. So place that right there, that's just like that. And this one goes just like this on the outside. Now we're just gonna reapply the caliper. Just like that, take our bolts for it, slide it into place. So the bigger side, the bigger side of this is on the bottom, so that's where that goes. And then this goes just like that, okay. And now you gotta put the brake, um, brake line back into play, which goes like this, right here. Okay, and now this clip, clips right in, like this. All right, so everything's back together, guys. That's how you replace the rear pads and rotors on a Volvo S90, XC90, XC60 from 2017 and newer. And of course, if it's a 16 XC90, it's the same thing. And that's it, guys. That's all you need to do. Just reapply the wheel, pump the brakes, and you're good to go. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If you uh, enjoy what I did here, just drop a thumbs up, comment below. And of course, as always, um, I do a lot of Volvo. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, Saab content. I also have a 12 S6, S60 over there and a 17 XC60 over here. So anyways, a lot of Volvo, Swedish Saab stuff. I always love to build, review them, and fix them. So if you like what I did here, please give it a thumbs up, comment below. Please subscribe, because your subscription and notifications bell is a lot to me. It means a lot to me, it helps me out. So thanks again, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time. The last step to every brake change is to pump those brakes. And um, I'm also gonna hit the emergency brake to make sure it's working. Well, it says that there's a problem, so let me turn the car off. Parking brake not fully released, but it is. Anyways, brakes seem to be working. All right, the brakes are working, which is good. So I'm gonna link all of the parts, brakes, and everything in the description so you guys can go and buy them yourselves if you wanna do this yourself. So thanks again, guys.